look like there's some value that it's approaching from the left and from the right? Yes. yes. So this looks like a crazy equation, right? Probably none of you looked at this and said, oh, I know what the graph looks like. But it looks something like that, correct? So we know at zero, it's undefined. It doesn't look like there's any asymptote there, so there's some hole. However, what was that value? What is, it, what is it approaching from the left and right? You could have looked at the graph, or you could have used the table. What value is it getting really, really close to from the left and from the right? What output, y value, is it, getting, is it approaching? One. Oh, is that one? What is that at negative? It's two? OK, two. So it looks like it's approaching two. So does it make sense then that the limit exists at 0? Because it's just approaching. What is it approaching from the left and right? So that value is 2. What is approaching just from the left? Just from the left, what is it getting really, really close to? From the left, what is it getting really, really close to? 2. From the right, what is it getting really, really close to? 2. Remember, guys. <laughs> For the general limit to exist, the left and the right hand have to be the same. I'll say that again because it's actually going to come up later in this section. For the general limit to exist, the left and the right hand limit have to be exactly the same. If the left and the right hand limits aren't the same, then you, the general limit does not exist. Okay? Remember like the absolute value on over x? They went to different, the left and right hands were different. So that means the general limit didn't exist. Okay? So let's change this up a little bit. 